guys, this is Elf Mate Gamer, as always. Bye. And this is the uh, this week's response to uh, B and G's uh, Q and A video. Uh, let's start with the first one. So we've got hashtag Butimus Undead Minion, and the question was if Butimus could raise uh, raise you as one of his undead minions, what would you be and why? I would be a vampire. For a multitude of reasons. Reason number one, I get to say blah. Reason number two, two, uh, I I I would be really good at maths. You, you know, one uh 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 two uh uh uh. Okay, and then reason number three, which is the number one reason, even this number three is because it would actually go with my channel and playing computer games because I suck. Moving on. Uh, this next question was, uh, wasn't given a hashtag. We were charged with giving it a hashtag. And that was, if you were, if you were to wake up in a creepy mansion um, and you were being hunted by your, like, your most feared monster mixed with your favorite snack um you know what would that be and how would you defeat it and the hashtag i gave to this was snack mansion and i would freddy krueger let me tell you a little story about my fear of freddy krueger okay so five years old freddy krueger film the very first one nightmare on elm street uh, not long been released onto video vhs for those of us old enough to remember that and my auntie was at my grandmother's, and we were getting ready to have dinner, so it was like four or five o'clock in the afternoon. My auntie comes back from the video rental store and says, oh, I've got this new film. Isn't it wonderful? And puts it on the TV. Freddy freaking Krueger, five years old, I'm behind the sofa. I'm behind the sofa with this whole thing, peeking out every now and then, because that's what you do. That's what you do when you see something you don't want to watch. Every now and then, you kind of, ah, what's happening? And I did, and it scared me, and I don't like it, and I still have difficulty now when it comes to Freddy Krueger. That's right. 34 years old, and I'm still a little bit afraid of Freddy, Freddy Krueger. So, that would be Freddy Krueger, and mixed with cookies and cream ice cream. And the, the way that I would defeat him, I would just hide and wait for him to melt. Because Freddy Krueger, he's got the hands and the claws. And the... <laughs> Let's go to the next one. The next one was the hashtag freedom song. <clears throat> so um, I, don't, I, I can't exactly quote this question because it, it was G's question to everybody. Um, I, and... He didn't really think it through that well, I don't think. Uh, but his his question was, if you were captured by an enemy or whatever, and your life depended on a song that you would sing, and the way he put it was like that whole Roman thing when they did like the whole thumb down or whatever, which I believe actually it was thumb to the side, was to die or something like that. It was the other way around, something like that. B will probably know, because he's a smart ass, and. Um, Hi, uh, Mine would be, I would sing Henry VIII, I am. I don't know who originally wrote it, but if you don't know how it goes, uh, it would it goes something like this. <clears throat> I'm Henry VIII, I am, Henry VIII, I am, I am. I got married to the widow next door. She's been married seven times before, and everyone was an Henry. She never had a William or a Sam. My name is Henry, Henry VIII, I am, I am, Henry VIII, I am. Second verse, Sam as the first. I'm Henry VIII, I am, Henry. And it goes on and on and on and on. So they probably wouldn't have time to kill me because if they were granting that request that you could sing your song, it just keep going, just never end. But that could backfire, obviously, because they could just go, do you know what, shut him up, dead. And um, my question, my question for the general public, hmm, what could it be this time? I might have to come back to you. I'll be right back. Got it. Uh, my question to the general public is, 
if your life had a theme tune, um, if your life had a soundtrack, what would be your theme tune? Like, for example, you know, Darth Vader's got his own theme tune. Da, 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 da. Speaking of Star Wars. Flying the flag, baby. Uh -huh. um, yeah, what would be your theme tune for your life? Any song, any tune, anything that you think would um, would accompany you every time you came into a room, what would song would play? Mine? What would mine be? Mine would probably be the Benny Hill theme tune, which I believe is copyright, so I'm not going to hum it, but you know what I mean. Anyway, that's it for this week. Um, thank you so much, B&G, for your videos. You entertain me immensely, guys, which is what's prompted me to, to do these video responses. Um, and um, B, on behalf of myself, One Line Derek and Hazardous, we went through this effort, dude. We made the videos, we put ourselves on camera, we knock our microphone around on the entire desk and everything. We'll stop doing that. Don't forget us, dude. We're here. Okay? So, I mean, a little bit of consideration backwards and forwards. You promised on Twitter to make it up to me. So, you know, however you want to do that. You know? <laughs> Anywho, that's it from me. I'll play Gamer. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to share this video. Or don't. I don't know. Who cares? See you next time, guys. Bye!